Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If you can control all the web elements dynamically in your web browser, it means you can do a lot of things including playing games interactively, you can automate all the web search experience, you can search extensively without even any manual intervention and you can do web scraping you can do web manipulation and lot of things quite easily on any website that is why models like this ui tars from bytance and various other world models are getting lot of traction lately we already have been covering these models a lot on the channel i have covered the previous versions of ui tars and for the purpose of this video, not only we are going to install it locally and I am going to show you a real world use case with the help of a new framework or tool called as MidScene. Now in very very simple words, this MidScene enables you to let AI be your browser operator or in other words you can operate your browser quite easily with simple natural language prompts. You can integrate this mid scene with a lot of models. You can integrate it with OpenAI or as we are going to do in this video, you can integrate it with open source models and that is why I am going to install this new model from ByteTans UITR 1.57 billion locally. I will serve this model locally and then we will integrate it with this mid scene and we will control our browser. For instance, if you look here, on the right hand side I have this Chrome extension which is from mid scene and I will also show you how to get it installed shortly. All I am doing here is I am asking it to do this action, type Fahad in search box and once you click on run, it is going to start the planning phase. You see, on the right hand side it is going to uh, load the page, it is going to do the screenshot, it will identify the search box and from there it is going to type the Fahad in it. So it takes a bit of a time, there you go. And behind the scene, the local model is running. I have done the configuration which I am going to show you step by step shortly. Takes a bit of a time, first time. And now it has loaded the page, it is going to find that search box, there you go. And then it has typed the Fahad in the search box and then it is going to verify it. That was the action. Similarly, you can also query the web page. Just click on query here. And then let's say we are asking it to extract the title from the page. Let's click on run. Let's wait for it. There you go. So it has extracted the title. And then you can also make some assertion like what exactly is this could be the validation I mean so you see for example if I say the page title includes AI and there you go so it has asserted that pass is equal to true and this was the thought which it has given there you go so these are the few things you can do action query and assert with the help of this midscene.js now this is simply a chrome extension which you can install and for that all you need to do is to simply go to the chrome's website this is a midscene.js and then or you can search it and then click on install it is going to install it on your local system and installation is just a one click button once you install it you can load it by clicking here on the icon of extensions then select midscene once that's done all you need to do is to set the configuration so let me remove this and i will show you how to do the configuration so I have removed the extension, I'm going to click on add to Chrome again and then add extension. I'll just close it, click on extension and then load the extension here. So this is extension, this is the first time you um, will be using it. Just click on settings button here and then you can paste these lines. So first up you see I am pasting the OpenAI base URL. This is pointing to my local host at port 8000 where I am running VLLM inference engine serving the model and I will also show you shortly how you can do that easily too. And VLLM is a very simple fast inference engine by the way. 
this is openai's api key we are not using openai so i have just put in a dummy value this is a model name from bytens which is ui tars 1.5 this is the whole repo name which i'm using from the hugging face i will be talking a bit more about this model shortly so stay tuned now for the vlm1 we need to make sure that we put it in one here to use a stable vlm once that's done click on save and our uh, settings are saved and then you can just start using it you can query just like we did it before now this is one part where we configure this chrome extension the second part is to configure the model so let me take you there so for that i'm also going to show you that this is where the model is running now let me quickly show you how much vram this consumes before i remove it and show you how to install so it is a big big model you see it is consuming over 70 close to 73 gig of vram it's a full model so make sure you have that much um, okay so now we know how much vram is required let me close it and then let me also press ctrl c so that i could clean up and show you how to install and serve the model okay there you go so i am in my virtual environment this is not mandatory but always a good idea first step you need to do is to install torch torch vision and make sure that you install vllm this is the main thing so i already have it installed but i'll just run it just for the sake of it so that you could also see it and that is all done and by the way i am using nvidia um, h100 as i already showed you with 80 gp of vram and this is courtesy mast compute if you're also looking to rent a gpu and vm on very very affordable price you can find the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus also i want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will also drop the link to the website in video's description okay let's go back and now we have our vllm and all the prerequisites done next step which we need to do is to make sure that we uh, download and then install the model as i mentioned earlier we are going to use this byte tense model and for that we am i'm just using vllm serve this is going to detect my configuration then it is going to download the model and then it is going to start serving it at port 8000 and that is what we saw earlier where we were accessing that in the api endpoint so model should start downloading very soon it is checking all the configuration if everything is good which is let's wait for model to get downloaded and the model is now being downloaded as you can see there are seven shards of it so let's wait this is going to take a bit of a time of course also if you're interested in the previous versions of uh, ui tars i have been covering it since the first release and you can see that we already did a local video on the previous version now while that gets installed let's talk a bit more about this newest version because i believe this is one of the real a good open source multimodal agent model which is built upon a powerful vision language model so this new 1.5 integrates advanced reasoning enabled by reinforcement learning this also allows the model to reason through its thoughts before taking action significantly enhancing its performance and we saw that when we did the assertion uh, if you remember and they also have shared a lot of benchmarks around it which you can check and uh, all the benchmarks show that it has got enhanced computer use and browser use capabilities which we already have seen it in action okay so the model is almost there shouldn't take too long now and there you go so the model has started running it is being served here on our local system now we can go back to any of the page like we did earlier uh, this such as this is my own blog at fahadmirza.com you can click on here 
you can select this mid scene and we already have set our environment you can double check this is the environment which we have tested which is accessing all of this locally and then you can just query it you can assert or you can do whatever you want to do for instance i'm just going to query it and say extract the first blog post date let's click on run here it is running let me see if i can wow it was so quick so it has already given me this friday april the fourth which is correct as you can see from here so look sky is the limit here and you can do a lot of things with it as i said um, i'm more than sure if you really build some tooling around it you can play the games but of course that would also require a lot of vram vrams maybe multi gpu cluster but things are moving advancing quite rapidly let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching